just a little place where good friends come to meet. This old cafe is better than the rest. It's in the heart of Soho, man, you gotta go, go. The coffee that they serve there, it's the best. You could get a nice panino, say ciao to Signor Nino, catch up on news with old Luigi P. Tony, the place is fine, just like a good old wine. Our Italia is the place for me. Bar Italia, Bar Italia. It's known for 22 on Oxford Street. Bar Italia, Bar Italia. I'm on Giamo, and grab yourself a seat. My name's uh, Antonio Pelletri and I'm the owner of uh, Bar Italia. Um, it's a family run business and it's been going since 1949. Uh, but now, how did this painting come about? Well, it came about, it came about by Mark, uh, Mark Baxter. Mark uh, knew Ed and he said that he'd, uh, you know, would I be interested if he came down and did a picture. And of course, it's a, it's a great thing and it's an honour for us at Bar Italia. Um, and it, I never ever believed it was going to happen because people talk about things and they never do them. And uh, it went silent for a whole year, but what I didn't realise was that Ed was working behind the scenes and carrying on with the painting. And I just casually turned around to Mark and said, Mark, what have happened to that picture that you said you were going to do? And he said, it's ready next week, we've got a launch, and uh, uh, David is coming down to uh, show you it, and uh, here we are today. And, uh... um, I heard it was during... Uh some more London's uh, paintings and he mentioned that he'd been outside of Bar Italia um, doing a record, whatever, I'm not sure where he's been, but I think he should have been spending some time here, so I said to him, if you do get anything made, uh, painted, let me know, because I've been doing a bit of work with the family that run the bar, <coughs> and I know they're very, you know, they're very uh, helpful if you've got a project or anything like that, it's obviously to do with the bar, but they're, you know, they're, they're very accommodating, so I just, you know, it went from there, so we invited it down with David Day. Well, me, to so, so me, Henry, the owner. And uh, he loved, absolutely loved the painting. He loved it. So, um, pretty much a done deal. Really. Once, we, once we did that, he was very, um, you know, very keen to get it in the bar. <laughs> One of you. I, yeah, I did a dance. That's me there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I tacked my hair off at the time, but I was um, but I was really skint last year as well. I only had one dress. I was wearing it virtually every day. I was wearing this one little dress every morning. And now you're not skint. Uh, nice. No, not anymore. Not as skint as I was. No. Lucky dress. <laughs> yeah, it must have been all the fishnets. Oh. I was just saying because I was just flicking through his work and I've Please. spotted a uh, few of the ladies have got fishnets on. So. Obviously the, obviously the fishnets were lucky because that's what's come in the picture. Say something for the camera. I can't speak to Whatever you feel, you're okay. Yeah. Oh, Paolo, Romeo, you see the paint, it's all been unveiled as well. What? what? Oh, no, they've got the print up on the wall, that's what they're looking at now. Are you in it? Yes, I'm in it. Uh, right hand side. In the striped top. For the blue and white t shirt. Yep, striped t shirt, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> so, from the drawings that I made in the sketchbooks, uh, these are some of them. Um, so I take the characters and kind of put it all together. And then I take photographs of the buildings and put them together. So, how long did it take for you to do it? Uh, that took three months. Yeah. Uh, that, the painting, the drawing there took about a week. Yeah. 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 Yeah
particular moment, I've only seen the postcards, so I'm still waiting for the big old whaling, but I, what, I, what I've seen of the, the little postcards, I thought the little bike in the corner of the blue shirt, I was like, it's a fantastic, fantastic image. It turns out to be me, I'm going to it. <laughs> no, I um, thought he was saving you for Jeff. Uh, no, no, I, I didn't know I was in it, I didn't have a clue, but he, um, yeah, he kind of put me in there, so I didn't like that. No, I think he's one of them, I mean, you know I like his stuff anyway, I'm a big fan. I think he's so clever. We don't know what the acoustics are like, so we've probably got a shout. Some of you wondering why you're here. So, uh, first of all, a big thank you to uh, Bar Italia uh, for uh, giving the opportunity to head to uh, not sit opposite the, uh, the, the bar for a few days and, and, and draw, but also this great opportunity to launch uh, this painting, which will then be exhibited at the uh, GX Gallery in September. Um, so, a big thank you to all the staff that were great this morning when we were hanging the work. A big thank you to all of you that are here. <laughs> and uh, I think I'll hand you over to Ed Gray uh, to say a few words before we unveil the painting. Well, yeah, thank, thank you everyone for, for coming. I know you were in there anyway. Um, <laughs> 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 this, this painting, normally I, I don't separate the work that I have for my exhibition. And, Particularly uh, this one, I thought I wanted to separate it from, from the September exhibition because it, it was such an opportunity to have a painting in the place that the people you know, who come here and who love this place and the owners, you know, that they're all part of this painting. So it's just nice to to have it here so that they can share it. Um, I have to say that normally when I make a painting, I'm in a, in a polluted street, back street somewhere in, in London or whatever country it might be. And it, it was a great pleasure to, to do this painting because I was able to sit inside, have a cup of coffee, listen to the, to the chat and the buzz of the place. And it was the most comfortable painting that, that I've been able to do. <laughs> so, uh, so once again, thank you to Bar Italia for allowing us to, to do this. And uh, thank you to Jimmy Cannon uh, and um, my wife Ingrid, who's going to sing later on, uh, and uh, Kevin Smith is the guitarist. And uh, of course, I'd also like to thank my gallery, GX Gallery, and Anne Noble Partridge, who helped to hang the uh, work today. Uh, so is going to do it now. So without further ado. Uh, I was led to believe that I might be able to grab a, a print and put it in my front room, so uh, I'm looking forward to that as well. Not, not in the shop? Well, it will go in my front room for a little while, <laughs> in a private place, but it will end up back in the shop. It's a really lively picture, I like it. And, um, it captures a lot of the things that I see in the morning. I like the fact that Raphael is on the fruit machine, you know, because um, he's always there. Obviously, it's got one of the scooters in it, and some of these guys, because I'm here virtually every morning as well. Yeah. And um, yeah, it's done really well, it really captures the essence of it. I think it's just superb. The, um, the way he's captured everyone is just brilliant. The way that um, everyone has their own character and the way he's captured those characters so well. Is it, is it, can you recognise every people oh, yeah, in there? Everyone's been recognised. Um, and the way he's actually been so kind to people with body image. A lot of people have said that's not me. But we all know everyone it's else says it is. Yeah. I think it's a fantastic uh, insight uh, into Bar Italia. If you look at the painting very carefully, there's so much going on. Uh, it looks like a full on scene. And it's just a true capture of Bar Italia because anybody that knows Bar Italia really knows how. Um, how racing is in here and how it's always changing and you know the picture really captures it in a great way. Mm -hmm. 